All right, so I added about an hour more of content to the DIY Vapor Blaster plans, and it covers how to build a custom immersion heater. Okay, so there are two reasons why you'd wanna heat the water. One, for comfort, and two, it'll clean or degrease parts better if that's what you were after. Okay, so let's talk about the comfort level. Uh, I heat, I live in Chicago, it gets really cold, and if I didn't heat my garage at all, this thing would turn into a solid block of ice. So what I've done is I keep my heater at 45 degrees 24 seven. And then if I wanna come out here, I simply bump the temperature to 60 degrees and preheat it a little bit before I come out here and work. Um, so I come out here and if I wanna do any blasting, put your arms in there, you start blasting, that's 45 degree water in here. And after 10 minutes or so, that coldness will go right through the gloves. Your arms become kind of numb and it's just uncomfortable. So obviously heating the water to 70, 80 degrees makes it that much better, okay? Now you can also elevate the temperature to 130, 140, and uh, that way it'll cut grease like crazy, right? I don't use this to degrease, I use it to finish. So I usually hit everything with solvent and then have everything clean as possible when I blast it in here, but hey, some people are after that and that's fine. Um, so I got an hour's worth of video in the plans and basically it's a packaging exercise to safely house a water heater element. Now water heater elements are available from 1,000 to 5,500 watts, okay? And they're relatively inexpensive. So selecting one of those, jamming it in a custom housing, and there you go, you have a heater that works pretty well. Now, you might think, hey, I heat the water up, great, the heater stops running, and, and life is good, right? Well, not exactly, because uh, this is something I discovered, is when you're blasting, you have all this CFM coming out, and it dissipates the heat out of the water very quickly. And especially if your degree, uh, garage has been 45 degrees, right? You're, your 80 gallon tank or whatever is full of 45 degree air and that compressed air when it's released, it just cools the water like crazy. So you actually need a lot of wattage to maintain a really high temperature, okay? Just letting you know about that. So uh, heaters draw a lot of current. I mean, your, your garage may be stressed from a uh, amperage standpoint already. I mean, you got the, the large compressor, you got this running, and then a good size heater is gonna need a dedicated circuit, so just keep that in mind. And I discuss all that in the, in the plans. Also what's pretty cool is uh, I found a Wi-Fi temp controller. So basically you can set the temperature from your phone and turn the heater on and preheat the pit prior to coming out here. So let's say in an hour or two you wanna come out here and blast, you set the temperature, the heater will kick on, and it's just pretty cool that that's some automation that you can do. Okay, so these plans are running up to like six and a half hours full of content so you can build your own and heat the water and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it for this video.